Hey guys, Samuel Schaus here at Keller Williams Realty in Kona. And I've been getting a lot of questions about traveling to Hawaii, uh, people that are returning that are residents, what it's like to uh, get back into Hawaii safely and efficiently, and also from visitors. So I thought I'd make a little video on it. Um, for those of you who don't know me too well, I just came back from a month long trip in the mainland visiting uh, family. And uh, at one point I was dreading coming back to Hawaii. But what I have learned is it really wasn't as bad as I thought. And it's because I took the time to plan ahead and know what to expect. It does require a little bit of research, but if you just take a few notes with what I'm about to tell you, I can make your trip much more carefree. So first of all, you need to get a PCR test lined up within 72 hours of you boarding that jet. Ideally, you'd want to get, get it done as soon as possible. Um, I did mine within 48 hours and I called ahead um, on the nurse's hotline and found out that this specific PCR uh, site would have results within 24 hours. Well, they, they even beat that. I had my results within about 8 hours. So I took the test at about 8 a.m. that morning in New Orleans. I was in New Orleans and I got the results back at about 9 p.m. that night. Um, so it really wasn't that bad. I had a lot of fears going in, but uh, it was it was pretty easy. But um, the main thing is go and get a PCR test. And when you go to those mobile pop-up stations, they're free. They're completely free, so there's no cost. Um, once you get that negative PCR test, you're going to want to upload in PDF format, PDF format to Hawaii Safe Travel's website. Once you do, it'll go into their automated system. You'll fill out an online questionnaire on the Hawaii Safe Travels website. They will email you a QR code. When the, you, you get the QR code, you'll uh, be at the gate and they'll give you a wristband or not based on your results. So they do have it dialed in uh, as far as efficiency goes. I know where there were a lot of complaints of, uh, initially when they started, um, but um, they have dialed in uh, their practices and procedures for people coming into Hawaii uh, and yes you will get tested again uh, when you land um, in Hawaii but fortunately it's just a quick rapid test it takes about it takes about 15 minutes by the time you're standing in line filling out a piece of paper and then swabbing your nose if it's about 15 minutes so it's really not that bad um, so and then another positive note is they did change the quarantine from uh, 14 days to 10 so those of you who do have to quarantine, those four days can make a big difference on your sanity. So every little bit helps, right? So that has been my experience. Um, if you want any tips or tricks on that or any deeper explanations on that, I'm happy to reply and, and help you through the process. Um, but uh, um, always here to help you. Samuel Schaus here at Keller Williams Realty in Kona. Give me a call anytime. Aloha.